So, Clint's hard at work. <laughs> Good morning, reptilians. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle, and this is Elle's Reptiles. It was pointed out to me that I never say my name in my videos, and I figured that I should probably start doing that. So as you guys know, this past week, me and Den moseyed on up to Minnesota for Snake Discovery's Build Off competition. I actually did this intro in our haunted hotel, long story, but it was kind of dark in there, and you couldn't really see anything but we had such a good experience at the zoo, meeting everyone. Thank you so much again to Snake Discovery for putting this whole thing on. And thank you so much to all of the sponsors that donated things for the build off. It was so much fun. All of the other reptile YouTubers that were there were absolutely amazing. I didn't really talk very much in front of the camera when I was there. I didn't really talk at all in front of the camera when I was there. I mean, I talked in front of other people's cameras, not mine, because I have anxiety and that was a bit much for me. So I just thought that I would do it this way and do overlay of the whole event. Yeah, I just, we had such a good time and we're so happy that we got invited. So as for the actual build off itself, it started with a challenge so that we could get first dibs on all of this material that you see here. They're light up mushrooms. Yeah, they're from a business in the Netherlands who sponsored today. So she sent a bunch of them. There was so many building materials and honestly, me and Dan went in with a plan. We were gonna do either a ball python or a blue tongue skink. And as we were building and as we were looking at things, we changed the last minute and decided to build for a fire skink. This was a three part challenge. The first part was a reptile trivia that was so difficult. Now, to get your team a 15 second head start on the scavenger hunt, we're gonna have a trivia challenge. Okay, okay first question. What are the major groups of living reptiles? Okay, crocodilian, snakes, lizards, turtles, and tuataras. You got it. Let's go dormant during a hot or dry period. Great. Estivation? Estivation. There are, what are three types of locomotion seen in snakes? Serpentine, sidewinding, and... Reptilinear. Concertina. <laughs> yes, concertina. There you Thank go. You. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Maybe we won't go up to five. We'll just do whoever has more at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner of that trivia, which was the black team, they got a 15 head start for the next part of this challenge, which was a survivor style scavenger hunt. If your team wins, you will, like I said earlier, you'll get first dibs on one item of your choice on anything in the uh, cornucopia of supplies to choose from. Somehow we ended up getting back to the table at the same time that the black team did with our bags. Thanks again, Clint, for all of your sprinting. In those bags, we had a 3D puzzle that we had to put together. Again, very difficult puzzle. Um, we were working on it for a minute. There was a point where I thought that a piece went somewhere and it looked like it went somewhere and it spelled out the word chameleon like it was supposed to, but I couldn't get it in. And then Tyler Ruggie ended up picking that piece, trying to get it in, Jessica's animal friend, ended up trying to see if there was some kind of messed up area that the piece wouldn't go in because it looked like it was supposed to fit and Tyler Ruggie ended up just brute forcing it in place and breaking the puzzle piece. In the end, the black team won that again and they got first dibs on their very first piece of the tank build. So we went with foam pieces for the background and we used a spray adhesive to adhere it to the back of the tank. I was super worried about curing time for the spray foam. So instead we put a very thin layer of spray foam on top of that. So that way it would hopefully take less time for the foam to cure since it wasn't built up as much. 
Do you need a mask? Yeah, I need to prop it up higher. So I need to put some more shots on it. Oh, the top, you just took the top off? Yeah, yeah. It comes out with screws and Aaron brought his tools in. You guys look so awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's blending really well. It's like thank you very much, yeah. I was really happy with how these like fit together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. What, what reptile are you? There's one more. Uh, we were going to do a leopard gecko, but now we're thinking maybe like a snake or something. So. <laughs> it would look good for a snake. Yeah. After that was the longest and least enjoyable part of the whole thing, which was just filling in silicone and packing it with dirt. It wasn't the most fun, but it definitely was well worth it in the end. We also added in some universal rocks to the side and back just to give it more dimension and also to kind of create a cave in the back just as a secondary hiding space. As for the ground part of this, we had hydro balls for the drainage layer. We used a mesh screen for the drainage barrier and we used terra firma for the substrate mix. I like that you guys painted that mushroom there. Yeah, to make it stand out a little more. I was thinking about just leaving it dirt, but then. Like this is, ooh, I like how he's, he's angling it. I like, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I totally meant to do that. It's not <laughs> accidental at all. <laughs> Where are you guys? Where are you guys? We're outside. <laughs> Everyone was allowed to bring one item of their choice to put into the tank to kind of make it our own personalized tank. And so me and Den decided to make a Hobbit inspired PVC hide to go into the tank, which we will have a video out about in the next couple weeks, just how we did that. Here I am mixing in Bioshot by the Bio Dude. What this does is basically just gives the bioactive tank a little bit of a boost in getting ready. There are beneficial bacteria and things in that shot. So it just kind of kickstarts your soil into the right direction. And then it was just time to add the decor and and the water dish and the springtails. Then we're just adding the leaf litter, the sphagnum moss, and the isopods. These isopods are really cool. They are white out isopods. So they are just solid white and I thought that would be a really cool addition to the tank. As for the plants in this tank, I tried my best to put them in a spot where it wouldn't be as easy to dig them up by a fire skink or blue tongue skink, ball python, whatever ends up going into this tank. And hopefully that works out. But the talent in this room was actually unreal. And so I can't make this video without showing everyone else's absolutely phenomenal tanks.
that's it for the build off portion of this, but I can't make this video without showing the handling of some wonderful animals. So let's take a peek at that. There's scaleless corn, uh, sunny side up. It feels so weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. She was supposed to give us eggs this year and then she decided not to, like most of our snakes did. But that's what happens when you do like a move. Now they're rear fang venoms, yep. right? Yep. Okay. So they have to basically wedge their mouth way on you and chew for a little bit to actually okay. get anything in. They don't really have like hypodermic needles for teeth. They have a groove in their back tooth that will actually, then they can chew it into your like skin okay. or like toe and skin. Oh, this is cool. So many new snakes that I've never had. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually eat reptiles. So okay. there's no sense in having heat pits when your animal when your prey is cold blooded. <laughs> And that is it for this week's video. The zoo portion of Snake Discovery is not yet open, but it will be very, very soon. Again, thank you so, 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 so much to Snake Discovery and to all of the sponsors that made this possible and to all of the other YouTubers that were there and that were so welcoming and so inviting. Thank everyone so much. I am still blown away that I even got the opportunity to do this. I cannot put into words just how thankful I am for that. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is for Wild Jack for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is for Painless Guy for commenting on last week's video with some awesome advice too, by the way. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> These were the okay. Yes, Dave, what's your answer? <laughs> Dang it, Dave. 42. <laughs> so, I'm going to build for like North American colubrids, like milk snakes or rat snakes or something. That's what I was going to do. That's fine, whatever. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Is that really your species? Of course not. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm building my enclosure for elephant trunk snakes. <laughs> Adam? <laughs> uh, an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys going for? Uh, we're doing a reptile enclosure. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. We'll probably have like substrate and like some rocks, maybe some hides. I was thinking about cuttlefish for a while, but I was like, the sliding doors are really going to be complicated. <laughs> 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 He's down on it for us. Oh, there's probably two. Man, if I need an apple, oh, wait, there's more. That was just the test. Oh, oh, oh it's foggy. We know it's either. <laughs> this is actually a very comfortable place to take a nap. You can find me there later. That was the best. Does it go all the way through? Oh, I don't know. It's going back in. <laughs> yeah, it does. It tastes coming together. You got a donut, I get to climb through a hole. <laughs> Oh. Well, it went through the tunnel. It's the best. <laughs> there are rocks, painted rocks in this bay. There's five green, five black. So we have team green, team black. And whichever one you draw is the team you'll be on. So reach on in. Don't look. Yeah, we know okay. Dave. <laughs>
gave my strategy you up too early. Term for when a reptile has an incomplete shed or has trouble shedding. Well, well, in the hobby, usually stuck shed. <laughs> <laughs> stuck shitty Alice? Is that no? No, uh, they have no pits. And they have no pits yeah. compared now, to all pythons. Everybody has to turn off their cameras and please don't, please don't include that I did not know that in any of your videos. Because that's really good. Good. Yeah. All right. Good end here. Not too high, though. Not too high. I don't want to hit you right in the forehead there. But what I have in mind is the greatest of all pet lizards. Emerald tree now come along. We have much to see here. This is their beautiful abode. You'll notice that in the corners there are quiet little areas illuminated with majestic mushrooms. We've got a lot of vines and, and other uh, branches for them to explore, like shelf trees. And and so if it, it you know if, if everything else is equal, just remember we've got a T-Rex.